Welcome to the channel, it's your boy Max and Passion, and pretty much in this video, I'll be reacting to the Fousey 2 drama gets even deeper. So pretty much, this is a video that I found and I wanted to react to it and see what's going on with Fousey 2. We talked about this guy named Fousey 2. He is an OG YouTuber who has come back time and time again and really been given more second chances than almost anyone we've ever seen on the <laughs> internet. Now there have been a lot of different arcs in FouseyTube's career. It had actually been a couple of years since he was last relevant. And I would say for at least the last six or seven years or so, the only time people are ever willing to talk about him is when he's doing something really outlandish. I would say when he's more or less self-destructing, that's when he enters the news cycle. And with these recent stories, it was really more of the same. We talked about his foolish actions on the highway. We talked about his downfall at the airport, how he had gotten banned from Twitch after live streaming for over a month straight. And last week, I said this was looking like a crew. That's incorrect. FouseyTube got banned from Twitch because you're not supposed to swear when you're on the Twitch platform, when you're live. And Fousey swore, and then Twitch banned him. So yeah. Or Ender, but now it seems like his bad behavior has been rewarded, and he has been offered some sort of contract from alternative streaming platform Kit. Regardless, Fousey has continued to live stream, and he's been doing anything and everything to try and create these viral. And Fousey just recently signed, uh, it was a $15 million contract with Kick, but apparently it's around $12 million. So, yeah. Clips, and boy, do I have some crazy stuff to show you guys today. First, I thought this clip was very telling from when he went on Bradley Martin's podcast. I treat these women with nothing but respect. Usually guys are in there drunk, do this, do that, take off your clothes. I don't know do none of that. Well, how do you know that? Can um, I tell you? How do you know yeah, that? I talk to these women. Because I, past, I have time to talk to them. And the women that he's talking about in this video are all these different escorts that he had hired over the years. Essentially saying, oh, I'm so different. You shouldn't say that because not every woman someone hires is an escort. That's kind of disrespectful. But I understand your point of view. From all the other pervs because I go out of my way to treat these women with the slightest bit of humanity. It was basically the same act that he pulled at the airport where he said he was an advocate for these victims. And then literally five minutes after this woman tells him her story with being taken advantage in that way, he takes her to the airport bathroom and bangs her out. I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that I'm amazed by the mental gymnastics this man will perform to justify his up behavior and I'm sure you guys remember how he was acting like an idiot out on the highway and apparently the end of that clip where he pretends to crash his vehicle and pass out is what actually got him banned from Twitch and I also found this clip from after his little incident at the airport hi your wife hi your kids hi your auntie hi your grandma hi your sister ain't nobody safe I know this man did not just say, hide your kids, ain't no one safe when the Rizzler is around. Are you gonna go to some sort of playground and activate the Riz? I mean, what's really going on here, Fousey? The Rizzly bear, hide everybody. To whom it may concern. <laughs> just because I worked in the same field for 10 years bad. doesn't mean it's what I was meant to do. I complete. And this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting as he gets into it with Keemstar of all people who has over the last couple of years been his more or less business partner. Over drama alerts coverage of this whole situation, especially with that woman at the airport. Because of what you're doing right now, you're trying to make it seem like I'm having a manic episode. Go up, go up. Why did you accuse me of that? That's a lucky deal. Go up. You tweeted it today, you dunk. Are you talking in this moment? Are you talking in this moment, in this space? Am I trying to make people think you're having a manic episode? You tweeted it today. I feel like you're having a manic episode. And part of me feels like you are. I've been concerned about it ever since you started doing 24-7. 
because I'm in lost streams. That's why I've been calling you and texting you and concerned. And concerned about the people in your life that are going to take advantage of you. And, and the second something happens before you've been talking to your brother, you go online and you let everybody that this guy got banned for what is? Well, I mean, I don't know why that's such a big deal. I think the bigger deal is that you did not have to for it. taking this new position after bragging about joining the Mile High Club in the airport bathroom that he did not have full relations with that woman. And so obviously at this point, Fousey is very upset with Keemstar. And when this kid at the mall came up to ask him about the situation, he had an absolute breakdown. So I just wanted to ask you, sir, you know, we also have a little bit down with Keemstar, having a bunch of emotions. What's going to happen? You guys are going to be homies again? Or? We actually resolved and you see how this guy goes so quickly from being this fake humble creator trying to be relatable basically trying to be a sob story. So once he gets a little bit of money and gets a little bit of clout, he sees himself as this all important figure. Like he's Jay-Z or some, you know, basically successful businessman and that he was gonna give this kid some sort of life-changing advice. Like at this point, he's really nothing more than a glorified train wreck that people like to view for their sick pleasure. And so the result of that confrontation is basically that he went around Las Vegas acting like an absolute maniac. What? Okay, somebody needs me. What's happening right now? This guy's trying to go viral off my name. What is going on? Shit's freezing up, gang. You see how quickly this guy turns to, oh, I'm like Kanye, I'm like Drake, I'm like X person that I put on this high of a pedestal. To me, it's honestly just very strange behavior. Like anyone who compares themselves to some person they see as like an almighty figure. I just personally feel like that is a sheer fire sign that someone might be a bit of a sociopath. Like Fousey, take a trip to a massage parlor, my guy. You're not you when you're horny. How the f do you guys not understand that? I have mental problems. I need help. I thought you left to get the arts No, you guys. Fuck you, homie. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And so this is the current state of society that we live in, where someone like this gets rewarded for acting like a clown. And I did see a lot of people in the comments of the video I made about this situation last week, talking about how Fousey was winning and how he was this amazing guy because he's making all this money. And to me, it's almost like someone with his temperament, who has obviously shown time and time again that he cannot handle fame nor wealth. Like, I actually think it's a negative thing for him to get his hands on those things, because as we've seen time and time again, just as he does, is when he starts to get this massive ego, I mean, it's totally out of control, and that's when this guy just goes and f***s his whole life. I also found this to be hilarious. This man actually got exposed by his very own therapist after he was trying to claim that nothing went down that airport bathroom. She accidentally told his dirty little secret. Oh, you know a friend of mine tried to say today that I wasn't sober? It was so hurtful. You, you, you've been sober until that uh, thing in the airport. I know that. <laughs> right? Love you, Susie. Yeah, I love you. Bye.
So she says you've been sober since that day in the airport, alluding to the idea that he obviously did something with that woman. People also posted up these pictures after he said, I did not touch her. And uh, yeah, they look pretty handy there, look pretty comfortable. And this is actually how he opened up his very first kick stream. I started YouTube March 25th of 2011. Every YouTuber that started with me died 10 times over. They now work a regular job, good for them, make a living. It's 2023 and I'm still here and I just signed a deal with Kit and I'm about to take the f over. The cameras never <laughs> turn off, I show you everything. Even when I'm in the heat of drama and the internet's trying to cancel me, I'm live. So you see that I don't script shit, I don't fake shit and everything's real. Do you think it's fair for me to be a as well? You're gonna use that word? Really? Yeah, that's emotionally Alright, this conversation is done as well. I want to no, work here's the difference. Here's the difference. You. I'm not saying you can go with actually wanting you to stay. I'm saying you can go because I want you to f*** out. That's why. It's not why? Me. I want to no, be here. No. And so basically the self-destructive cycle continues. It's just like last time with the whole July 15th thing. He started treating the people around him like shit. And we're really almost to the end game here where this guy crashes and loses absolutely everything. Disappears from the internet for, you know, maybe a couple years. And then what, is he gonna try to come back at like the age of 40? He also got kicked out of the Las Vegas hotel that he was staying in. You and your hotel, dog. You and your hotel. That kicked us <laughs> out. So disrespectful. I said, punch me right now. I'll record you. Punch me. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Eight security? I don't listen. I was paying my bill, dog. Y'all were disrespectful as shit. Y'all were disrespectful as shit. And I think what a lot of these live streamers don't realize, especially when it comes to going to a place like Vegas, is that there's all kinds of people walking around who are much more wealthy than them. It's not like they have to cater to you hand to the foot and put up with all this bullshit, all this attention you're trying to garner just because you're out here giving them money. And you see guys, this is the correct way to respond when Fousey is trying to give you this life-changing advice. Hey, you have one chance. Anything you want to ask me in life, for advice on, ask me. I'll share it all. He's so salty. Hey, your girl wanted a picture with me. Yeah, if your girl requests a picture with FouseyTube if she saw him out in public, it might be time to reconsider your life choices. Just a little bonus clip for you guys, a little blast from the past. Long time I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly, I felt gay, I felt <laughs> But like I said, I don't see all of this ending very well for Fousey. He's just really not someone that can handle money. Alright guys, there you have it. Stay tuned and subscribe.